guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alessandra and in today's video we are going to be reviewing the new Jeffree Star Blood Money Palette. If you want to see what look I create today, then go ahead and keep on watching. But before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more reviews and beauty unboxings as well. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, so this is the Blood Money Palette. I just wanted to show you guys. I did open it up. That's why it's torn here a little bit. But I did just want to show you guys the inside of the box. I thought that that was really, really awesome. I wasn't expecting it to look like this in here. Um, so that was really cool. And it's packaged really nicely. It has extra packaging up here to keep the palette from moving at all during shipment. So taking the palette out, I'll put the box to the side. And by the way, if the video looks a little funky or if the sound is a little bit off, I am trying out new equipment today. Um, so we're just going to have to go ahead and see how that works. So this is the palette right here. It retails for $52. And that is what the front looks like in the clasp. Now, I know he came out with new eyeliners as well to go with this whole blood money theme, but with one, the holidays coming up and a lot of launches and holiday launches coming out, I just couldn't see myself spending that much on an eyeliner at just at the moment, so I'll probably go ahead and try them when he comes out with a little bit more color range. I know that... He wanted it to come out with the Blood Money palette and complementary colors to that. And I absolutely don't blame him for doing that. And it's a nice introduction into the eyeliners. So I'll probably try them out on a later date. But so this is just the Unicarton to open it up. You just do that. And I like how the clasp shows through. I thought that was really nice as well. Opens up. And then there it is. I haven't taken the plastic off the front of mine, but I will go ahead and do it right now. There we go. So that is what the front of the palette looks like. It's like a suitcase of money, since it is the Blood Money palette. But to open it, you just push this to the side and then it opens. But I'm a super awkward at doing that. So push it to the side and it opens right up. And then there is the protective plastic. So it does have a mirror, of course, as usual. So that is what the inside of the palette looks like. Now, I do have to say that I think online it didn't look as of a green palette as I thought it was going to be in person though looking at the colors it screams green and I know I know that he was saying that a lot of people were complaining that it wasn't a green palette but I think he did it very smartly where even the white shade um <laughs> Even the white shade in the palette has green reflex in it. The glitters in it are green. And everything else here, I mean, of course, there's transition shades and stuff like that, but everything else here has a green undertone to it. So I think he did a great job, and I'm really, really excited. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and swatch some of the colors. I'm not going to do all of them because he did do that in his reveal, reveal video. Um, both in his first and second video of this palette he did that so I'm just gonna I'm just going to swatch a couple of the shades that I'm most interested in and I'll show you them and then after that I am going to somehow come up with some sort of eye look with you guys and we'll see what I create with that so let's go ahead and do that okay you guys so these are some of the colors on my hand I feel like it is not going to show up the way that I want it to. Once again, this is a new kind of setup that I have here. If it's blurry, I am so sorry. But in person, this white 
reflex green so much. I really, really wish I could show you that. I don't know if you can see it, but it, in person it is so green. It's crazy, but um, I kind of went a little crazy here. So out of order on this palette, we have Divine Intervention, Poison Ivy, Emerald Estate, CEO, this matte shade here is Equity, and this other matte shade is Crocodile Tears. These were just some of the ones that I thought were the most interesting, and right off the bat here, I mean, those are all green shades, and there's more to choose from. Like, this is a green palette, you guys, so if you are not happy with it, I don't know how, but everyone has their own opinion, and that is fine. That is why I'm here, to share my opinion with you, and if it's not the same, that's fine as well. Just so you guys know, I do have staining on my hands. Uh, if you don't know Jeffree Star, there usually is staining in his palettes, but I don't care. It's just something I always like to note because I know a lot of people don't like the staining or if they know a palette stains, they'll wear it only on certain occasions. So that is something to note. I don't care. So we're going to play with any of these shades here. Okay, you guys. So I am going to go in first with Private Island. That is the transition shade here at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my crease for you guys with a clean brush. I believe this is the BH Cosmetics blending brush. Okay, now that we're zoomed in, I'm going to go in with Private Island. And as usual, there is kick up in the pan. It's quite a bit, but if that's something you don't care, then that's fine. I'm going to try and show it to you. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if it's going to focus enough to see the kick up that I'm trying to show you. Eh. Okay, well, oh, it focused for half a second there, but if you could see it, there you go. But there usually is kick up in the pan, um, something I don't mind, but I like to tell people because people get upset about that. So I'm just going to stick that in my crease. So I'm thinking that this color, I mean it is going on, not that it is my skin tone, but it is a lighter transition shade. It's going on pretty well. I'd say there's just a little, I don't want to say patchiness, but it's going on pretty well, just not as, I guess, pigmented as I thought it was going to be. And what's funny is it looks like a, like a tan color, but I feel like on camera it's actually not coming off tan which, I mean, is totally fine. It should still go with the look that I'm going with today. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I switched my brush because this is always the one that I use to put in my transition shade. I just love it so much. What is this? Billion Dollar Brows. It's their highlighter brush, but it is way too tiny to be a highlighter brush, in my opinion. Um, so... To me, this is the perfect, I get a lot of precision with using this brush, and I just like it for my crease, but today I am filming, I'm not sure when I'm posting this, but today is actually my birthday, uh, November 20th, and Blinged Brushes X Page Corin brushes came out today, and I for sure got them, so I am so, so excited. I have never purchased br Blinged Brushes before. And I bought hers because I absolutely love her. I've been wanting blinged brushes. This was the perfect excuse on my birthday. I am so excited. So I am curious to know if you guys purchased them as well. I Or if you already have blinged brushes, what do you think of them? They just look to be like not only absolutely beautiful brushes, but quality. And I am just so, so excited to have a whole matching brush set that are so beautiful. I'm going to get like a little special case for them as well to display them on my little vanity here. So now that we pretty much have that laid down the way I kind of ish want it, I'll blend it out a little bit more later, but 
I'm gonna go in with Make It Rain, I believe. I can't see at the moment, but I'm gonna go in with Make It Rain, which is a very muted, pastel-y kind of green. And I am gonna go almost where I went with this pretty much in my crease as well. Severely, severely hoping that it does not get muddy. I feel like it is already. I'm scared, you guys. I'm so scared. I am not a professional whatsoever. I feel like it looks... I always say this every time I do an eye look. I always say that it's looking horrific. And then in the end, I wind up actually liking it. So let's just blend this out and see what it looks like. Okay, those are those two blended together. I feel like this, I don't know if the camera's really picking this up. I'm gonna have to play it back and see, but so far that is what it's looking like now. I have to wipe my hands off. My hands are so <laughs> stained green. And some of these have like a blue undertone to them, like a turquoisey kind of undertone, which I feel like is hard to match if you're using, because I feel like, I mean, mixed together, it's a little bit more brown, but I, I use like a pretty truer green. And so any of the darker colors that I see to use the, use it for the halo eye are like, have this turquoise undertone to it. And I feel like it's just not going to go well. So instead I am going to go with this master plan idea that I have. I'm going to be using tax free dark. I have it on my hand here, a dark shimmer. And I'm going to put that on the inner and outer portion of my eye and see I feel like that's not dark enough. You know, I'm gonna go for it anyway and I'll just deepen it up with a different color. All right, you guys. I feel like it just looks like the shimmer version of what I have on there right now. I am gonna go in with Persuasion, which is down here. It is the deeper version on the bottom row. I'm just gonna take the flip side of that brush. Okay, that is what that's looking like now. I will blend the two colors together better, I promise. But in the meantime, I am going to take Poison Ivy. Yeah, I'm gonna take Poison Ivy with my finger it is such, oh my gosh, look at that. It is such a buttery shade. And I'm going to put that in the middle. Okay, so far, not too bad. I mean, it's going on really, really nicely. Okay. What do you guys think? of what I got going on right now. Okay, because I'm feeling a little daring, I kinda wanna use either one of the two blackish shades in the palette. So we have these two here. Um, this is more of like a gray, metallic-y kind of black. And then this is a black black <laughs> with green glitter in there. So I'm kinda probably deepen up the inner and outer part of my eye a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and take more of like a detailed kind of brush, nothing too big. I wanna just keep it kind of concentrated there. So I am taking Black Card Limit, which is the black in the shade. That is black, ever so slightly. Now I'm gonna blend it out. ever so slightly right in here as well. I'm just taking the leftover off of this one and putting it in there and seeing what we get from there. Okay, I definitely deepened it up and I think that is looking pretty good. So it's looking a little unblended right now. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that up real quick. 
I'm gonna put this same look on this eye and I will be right back. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and I did the other eye as well and I just put my lashes on. They are still drying, but I, so far, we're gonna finish up the under eye as well, but so far I actually quite like the look. I don't know if my lighting and my setting and what I have going on right now is the best. I will have to play with it, but I feel like you can't see it as well on camera, but I actually do really like the look that I came up with. I know that it's not the most inspiring look that you've seen, but I've never worn green eyeshadow before, and this is the first time, so I think that I am comfortable with this look. I actually have to go out to dinner tonight, so I'm going in public with this green eye look, which I never thought I'd be wearing, but thanks to Jeffree Star, I feel like I can rock it. So thank you, and we're gonna go ahead and finish up the under eye. I'm gonna go ahead and see if Crocod, no, 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 no. Emerald Estate, which is this shimmer shade, if I can get that to go on underneath, I'm gonna try and do that, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of CEO, also a shimmer shade, uh, underneath as well, and I'm gonna see if that will go on. So let's go ahead and try that out. These shades are so like buttery, it's hard to get it on the brush, but I got it on there. I'm just, a little, <laughs> I'm actually afraid that there's gonna be like a lot of fallout here. I feel like you can't see that as well. It's actually, even though it says emerald, maybe it is an emerald, but it, it goes on a, a lot more with a base of turquoise than green, but it is really, really pretty. So I'm gonna stop there and see well, I'll do the other side first and then I'll see if CEO will go on at all as well. So I think that went on pretty good. I'll probably have to smudge it out a little bit, but I'm gonna go in with a different brush and go in with CEO, which is a golden shade. My eyes are so big they get so watery so easily so this is a little tough for me but we're getting through it oh man <laughs> and that actually looks pretty cool and when it mixes in the middle I think it looks really cool again my lighting is not good I can tell but we're gonna have to just work through that I'm gonna have to play with the settings this is brand new so sorry if there's any technical difficulties with sound and the way that I look. I feel like I'm a little bit, it's not true to color right now. So again, I'm gonna play with it. But I like the way the under eye came out. I think it actually looks really, really cool. I'm actually excited. We're gonna do our inner corner highlight with the beautiful, beautiful white shimmer shade in here that has the green, green glitter in it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this little brush that I have here and dip into that. I'm not gonna wet my brush unless I feel like I have to. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like without wetting the brush. Oh, it is, woo, oh yeah. It's so crazy because in the pan, it looks mostly white. And in person, you can definitely see like a little bit of green in there, but once you put it on the eye, it's mostly shows up green with a lit, with a white base. So it like flip flops once you put it on the, the eye, which I think is really, really cool. Okay, so now I am done with the eye look. I think that it is fitting to throw a Jeffree Star liquid lip on my lips. I'm gonna go do that and I will be right back. Okay, you guys, so I just threw on his liquid lip in the shade Christmas Cookie, and then I topped it off with the gloss in the shade Candy Drip. And so I just wanted to go for something neutral because I don't know what to wear with green eyeshadow, which I'm assuming would be neutral. So overall, my thoughts of this palette, hands down, 
Packaging is everything. People are saying that they're getting sick of these trunks. This is what he's known for, okay? In my opinion, this is what he's known for. So the trunks, give them to me, give them to me every launch. I don't care, change it up a little bit. Whatever you want, whatever you want. But I like the trunk and the shades I find to be absolutely beautiful. I'd say the only problem that I had were that when I'm, when I'm trying to do a green look, when some of the undertones are turquoise, it's a little bit hard if you're going for like a true green, but clearly I think I accomplished that today. So I'm very, very happy. I think that I was afraid that the shades would get muddy and I thought it was get, getting muddy on my eye, but I, I don't think so. I just think it takes time. The formula is amazing and the shimmer shades are always buttery and smooth and they go on like a dream. The matte shades are always hit or miss. It depends on the color, but so far the colors that I used today, which I used three of the matte shades in here. I used Private Island, Make It Rain, and Persuade Persuasion and all three of them I think performed very well. Oh, and I used a little bit of chameleon fetish which is a very like yellowy lime kind of green color I used a little bit of that to do some blending uh, so I used four of the matte shades in here and I think that they went on very beautifully uh, I, it takes time I think that his formula takes a little bit of time but if you sit there and you blend and you blend and you blend I don't care if you're getting bored blend because it is worth it yeah, sometimes it's nice when you put on a shade and all of a sudden it blends itself out. Yes, it's 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 nice, but I think that the wear of the... Well, of course I'm going to test it out because I'm going to go out to dinner and I'll be out for a few hours. So I'll test the wear, uh, how long it wears on my eyes. But his formula always lasts. I don't know if it's because of the staining that occurs, but it's an eyeshadow that I know will last on my eyes. And that's the thing. I would rather work harder and longer to get the eyeshadow to work like I did and have it last all day versus having an eyeshadow that takes half the amount of time to put on but does not last all day long. And that happens a lot. But yeah, you guys, overall, I'm actually really happy. I never ever thought I'd get a green eyeshadow palette, but of course, if I'm gonna get a green eyeshadow palette, it's going to be Jeffree Star's green eyeshadow palette. And I'm wearing green on my eyes and I love it. I am overall very, very happy with this palette. I would love to know what you guys think. If you have the palette, let me know what you think of it as well. And I would also love for you to tell me what you think of this eye look. If you think I could do better, if you think it's great, I would love to know. I love criticism, nice criticism. I always take it. That is everything that I have for you guys today. I do just want to show you the little card that you get. I love saving these. I have a bunch of them uh, for every launch that he does. Uh, I think they're just cute little prints. And because I love Jeffree Star, I always keep them and I put them in a cute little pattern up on my wall. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you would not mind. It would mean the world to me. I would absolutely love to have you guys follow me on my little YouTube journey and have you guys see more of my reviews and my unboxings. If you like the look that I created, if you didn't like the look that I created, let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate that as well. It would definitely help me out as a small channel. And of course, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.